Hi Hugh and greetings from sunny Sweden. Thanks very much for your email that you sent um, a couple of weeks ago. I've been having a good think of it while I've been uh, doing a whirlwind tour of schools out here and it seems to me that progress, focusing on progress is where it's at right now. Um, I think if you look at the work of Marzano, look at all the work that Dylan William has been doing on assessment for learning, of course you look at visible learning and how big that is these days uh, and if I might say so all the work on challenging learning that I do I think the thing that links everything together is progress and getting students, getting schools, getting groups to focus on progress now that might sound rather old hat as if well we've, al we've always focused on progress haven't we but I think things are changing I think too often we've been focused on on grades and which students have got good grades, which haven't, which ones have passed uh, the certain level and which ones haven't. But I think as um, we were doing with all the wonderful people you brought together uh, through CAP, I think the key is, it's not so much am I better than you or am I worse than someone else, which is often what we fall into thinking about in the classroom. It's more to do with how much progress am I making? How much progress is each student making? And then we can look at how much progress each class is making and each school is making. But I think really it's about using tests, using tasks in a way to, what should we say, well measure progress really. Um, I know there's a lot of uh, rhetoric out there about, let's say, Finland. They don't test kids and they, uh, they do brilliantly in the PISA test. And it's just utter rubbish. Finland tests kids a lot. But what they do is they have pre and post tests. And teachers use them as these tests, not to identify which kids are clever and which kids are not so clever, they use them to identify where next, what should we be doing next, how much progress are my, are my students making and how can I help them to make even more progress. And I think many, many, many of the ideas that um, we, we looked at it within the Challenging Learning series really focus on that. And it seems to me the, the people that we met in, in the CAP projects, they, they were really keen to keep working on that and to focus on it more and to build from there. So that would be my advice and I hope, I hope for what it's worth, it's useful one. Okay, all the best and ta-ta.